Hoot, hoot. Doot, doot. Newt, newt. Hey. We have way too much in common. And we're both stupid. <laughs> yeah, I, I got a 10 out of 10 on that little quiz of yours first try. You did get a 10 out of 10? First try. That surprised me. You're cause... probably the only person I know who will have gotten a 10 out of 10. I think on two of them, I actually kind of had to guess. Like, how much media you had and how many conventions you did to. I don't know that for sure, but I I've got it right. I've been to four, and I have about probably 900 right now. I was like, does it like, turn green when you get it right, or just when you answer it? Because they're all turning green. What? <laughs> but yeah, no, discerning the titles of Kirby songs from Toho songs is extremely difficult. Are they both nonsense and... I mean, they're, yeah, they're nonsense, but they're similarly flavored nonsense, too. Heaven is a very sky place dangerous. The only ones I could consistently get were the ones from Robobot. Because they said Robobo in them all? They might have, but they didn't. Did it have Bobobo and ba ba, -ba in it? I wish it did, but it didn't. It was Gooey DDD. He was probably one of my favorite video game villains by now. I can't even call him a villain. Alright, so where do we go? North. To the Sundered Battlefield Fades Passage. Uh, Riven Skull Gur... Gurch. Um, I can't go through. Oh, you need to talk to the dude. Oh, the question mark man. Oh, you saw me just disappear there? Yeah, but I also yeah, he's saw confused, the gate. You need to help him. This power source will fit perfectly into the automaton's boiler. Hmm. That's odd. What is happening? I think I'll be doing all this just to fix a robot. The power source is completely drained. This is going to be more difficult than I'd anticipated. This is only a minor setback. We knew about these power sources from our explorations of the Emberworks on the far side of the Sunder Battlefield. We found machines there that the ancient dwarves once used to craft them. If you can reach the Emberworks, it should be child's play to recharge. You'll have to make your way through Riven Skull Pass to reach the battlefield. Once you've charged the power source, come back here and we'll install it in the automaton. Why do so many series rely on dwarves and goblins for their crafting? What about them? Why, or, uh, gnomes, rather. What about them? Why do so many rely on dwarves and gnomes for their, uh... Um... Because they're good at it. Yeah, but you can make up your entire own creatures. Oh. That aren't just boring-ass humans. Well, I mean, this is going with fairly traditional fantasy. That's why. But then again, we have my Yoshi thing. Yeah, but they name things like Tutara instead of Lizard Man, and... And we have whatever my Yoshi is. That seems to be a unique creature, right? Mm -hmm. I really like it. It's a, a thingy. Oh yeah, all of the spirits of everything are cool looking. I mean, they're generally dragonish, but they don't have to be dragonish. The uh, one guy's more like a Pteranodon. There's a reason I just forget what it is. It's not a bad reason. It's the thing you know, no, for familiarity's sake. Ah, oh, so because they don't have to explain such creatures to the audience. Literally, all I'd have to say is they've always been amazing at technology, and then you'd have done it. Yeah, you know, they don't need everything in their world to be like that. Yeah, but dwarves are boring. Yeah, and some of the things here are interesting. Yeah, but dwarves are boring, just like elves and gnomes. And, and they don't go all in on that. They just dab it. What's the game where you can play as either a human or an elf and that's it or whatever? Uh, Kingdoms of Amalur does it. Uh, you have a few flavors of human and elf. Dragon Age gives you human, elf, dwarf. Or in the sequel, human, elf, dwarf, or really big guy with horns. Which, which is basically tall tiefling. Yeah, it's the buff tiefling, which is, to be fair, not a conventional option. I'll give him that. It's not like, too exciting, but it's different. A get little bit. Get the potion, thank you. I kept trying to have him get the potion, he just instead decided to run back and forth beside the potion. I respect Elder Scrolls for actually getting a bit more interesting as time went on. <laughs> Although I like the Fallout ones better. Of human, 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 with no pretenses of not being human? No, I mean like the 
stories and stuff. Oh. Stories. Yeah. I, I was never drawn to the story of the... Uh, those ones. Yeah, those I mean, things. it's... The stories just seem stock fantasy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll agree with that. But yeah, as far as creature variety, I would argue that yeah, the Elder Scrolls probably have more interesting features. Well, the Elder Scrolls, I mean, your character... the monsters, I guess, are about on par with one another. Uh, Morrowind seems to go places with their monsters, so I'll give them that. They're a bit generic outside of Morrowind, but Morrowind does just weird stuff. Is it the only one that has stuff like Cliff Racers and... Uh, I think it's the only with Cliff and Guar and all that. I mean, let's see, all the games have like Atronox, but they're just like elemental golem things, which are kind of neat. They have their demons, they have goblins, they have cats, just big cat. So Morrowind really is the... Like... Enchants items with luck. You know what? That's not poison, at least. Um, is, like, the actual iconic Elder Scrolls game, if it weren't for the fact that they keep making more Skyrims? I mean, I think Skyrim is the iconic Elder Scrolls game at this point. But that's what I mean. If they didn't keep making Skyrim, would Morrowind be the one? Probably. It was more... Morrowind was more influential in the games that came directly before or after it. Though Daggerfall apparently does have its big fans. I am not among them. It's just like it's just like a really weird and squish and unsquishy Morrowind. And by unsquishy I mean it's squished and enormous. Wait, did he leave? The luck guy? Yeah. No? Well he did for you, but not for me. Oh, maybe he could only enchant one thing. That's dumb. I'll have him do it then. Someone went brab. Nope, he's. Oh, yeah, he fades away once you are done doing business with him. That's weird. How lucky did he make my help? Ooh, 2% in experience gain. That's not even luck, but I'll take it. I need it, kinda. Since I, do I spend a good bit of time dead. Do you spend 2% of the time dead? <laughs> Probably not quite that much. I think you spend like 0.05% maybe. But I have fallen behind. For a while, I was way behind. Remember, I lost two whole levels. Yeah, now I'm like half a level behind. I'm just about to level up. And you're about so we're halfway to level. <laughs> I saw the trunk and my brain automatically read it as thank. <laughs> Give it credit. For all the problems I have with the Souls games in lore, they are at least original with it. It's just not my type of story, but they do have also some really interesting monsters. Oh yeah. Ooh, level up. Like, the first time I saw that, like, giant skeleton monster in, um... Is it Bloodborne, maybe? Giant skills. I don't know. It's like, uh, like, I don't know. It's not, the, the joke that comes to mind in my head is human centipede, but it's not. Thankfully. But they're all skeletons all the way up. But yeah, I'm sure you would not at all enjoy the story. It is interesting. Yeah, I'm going to guess it's about as bleak as can be. An Elder Ring so far? Yeah, just... It seems that every NPC's personal questline ends with them just ra abruptly dying for no- just out of nowhere. And I don't like that any more than you. And Bloodborne and, uh, Dark Souls have- um, well, Bloodborne especially has a kind of cthulhu kind of vibe to it. Yes. I mean, all of them have, like, Eldritch, so have Eldritch stuff going on. Yeah, which means I think that Bloodborne goes the hardest into it. Though. Which means, naturally, they're going to be very bleak, because that's the whole- concept of Lovecraft. Yeah, so far, I am getting bleak vibes from this, that... No, the only way to fix this world is basically to end it. But, and, like, maybe it'll be reborn maybe better, but it might just be perpetuating a hopeless cycle. I know that was, that's how Dark Souls was. Oh, the, 
the destroy everything ending just loops back to everything still being bleak and... Yeah, I mean, it loops around and everything will be okay for a while, but you'll eventually end up right back here again. I think the third game was just about just breaking the cycle somehow. Or at least no longer partaking in it. Nui. Nui. I do like how only Dark Souls, you don't have to spend half the game as like a withered corpse. Just a personal thing. You what? How only in Dark Souls, at least now you don't have to spend half the game as a withered, desiccated corpse. I mean, it is in the name. It's gonna be dark and. I mean, they're all gloomy and dark. It's just that Eldering has some beautiful, has pretty sights. Yeah, I, I'm i not for hopeless games, as you know. I don't know if it's hopeless, but it's starting, it's looking pretty bleak. So even if you could get past the gameplay, I don't think you'd find the, flay, the, the, the story flavor palatable. They also do the thing. Where With NPCs will just, like, speak to you sort of cryptically, and they will not explain anything. They won't blame you for when you don't understand them, but they don't really seem to want you to understand what they're saying, which is dumb. And you don't have a meet you can't just you don't have dialogue options to just ask people what they're talking about. Which does give it a I mean that is a soul's thing, is here, you figure it out. And I'll admit the mythology in these games is actually closer to real mythology and religion than most other fantasy religions are. In that it's kind of... Un unclear? In that real religion seeks to explain the world, whereas fantasy religion typically seeks to organize the world. Well, and in a lot of... Um fantasy game religions uh it doesn't seek to explain the world it's it explains nothing. it exactly to a t and there's no ambiguity or anything like that right the gods are just extremely understood and such yeah you don't ever really discover anything new of the gods through your own experience. Everything's just, this is what the gods do. Let's see, was there anything more to be seen? Apparently not. Well, we have to come back up there anyway. Because we have to find something to unlock the thing in the middle there. But... I'm amused by their message system. Do what? You can leave messages for the players, but... And almost the way you extend of a Nintendo game, it greatly limits your vocabulary. I know that Which in, leads to a lot of memes. I know that in, um... A few of the Scrolls games, or Souls games and stuff, you'll find... Well, probably all of them. Troll messages? Yeah, you'll find ones that are, like, saying to head this direction, and it's, like, straight off a cliff or something. Right, but they're easy... I mean, oh yeah, that's still there. Thing, but then you, you just walk the cliff and then look down, and you'll see that... If you can't see the bottom of the cliff, it's not safe. That is the that is law. It's very consistent. If you jump into something you can't see the bottom of, you will die. And also, you'll see, like, bloodstains on it of other players who fell. Ooh, six-try fishing hole. But I actually enabled messages for the first time today out of the way because I needed help. I couldn't find a, the end of a dungeon. It just says, uh, try trap, try lift. So I start looking around and I realize this, these falling guillotines, I can ride them up to this area. So yeah, thanks, guy. So they're actually like genuinely helpful people too. It's not letting me fish. Me neither. This is fake fishing hole. Well, that's weird. This fishing hole is just propaganda. That fishing hole is a spy. That is a glitch. Notch is mine. Hmm. You think there's references going on here? 
Yeah, I know this game was. Oh, this is a fairly old game. I'm slightly Minecraft scared. is from 2009. Yeah, this game is from a time. And I saw that Minecraft was kind of a big deal the instant it was a deal at all. Yep. It was bomb. Yeah, I think I actually owned it in 2009. I didn't. Golden key! We haven't even found the chest yet. Look at all the weird stuff we have in our corner right now, though. Corner? Oh, cool, it's three boys! Yeah, you got green, a purple, and a key. A crystal, a crystal, and a key. Which crystal. is not a crystal. Crystal. Three brothers. You gotta say it correctly. Frog. Froge. Yeah, you can... Something went pow. Putis pow? Putis pow. The most embarrassing way to die in the game? What? Oh, just being yelled off a cliff or something? Putis pow. Or no, it's the... Is it the pow boxing glove? What? Oh, you're talking, you're talking Team Fortress. Yeah. What else would Puntus be in reference to? Puntus Pow came from a Skyrim spoof. Oh. Yeah, Puntus Pow was like, instead of Puntus Roda, it was Puntus Pow. It was just the Skyrim trailer, but with Team Fortress 2 characters. Oh. Yeah, the gun show, I think is what it's called. But specifically when you're stunned so you just can't dodge it. Uh, the holiday punch. They, if they hit you from behind, you're forced to laugh, and then they can just talk kill. It's the, I mean, it's probably the most embarrassing, because it is the probably the best talk kill in the game, along with snipers. Stab, stab. Yeah, because it just comes out so fast. Yeah, and then... I guess another one that's really embarrassing is the, um... The most embarrassing is probably, like, The scouts, because you said it's super, super slow. The only thing I was going for is that I think it's silent until it's already connecting. But so is the heavies. Yeah, the POW! Yeah, as soon as you hear it, he's already... you're dead. And... Does the pyro have any of that kill, or just the damage? I think the, the pyro has like three that kill. It's oh, I thought ridiculous. they just had several that did damage. They do just do damage, but it's enough damage to kill you. Like, you know, sometimes just kill, like, anybody. Because I thought that the Kamehameha one wasn't, like, fatal. I think it might be survivable, but under normal circumstances, it's sure death. Like, an overhealed heavy wearing with the fists of steel, which has ranged damage, might be able to survive it or something. Let's see, I, there's the Rain Blower and the Scorch Shot also have kill taunts. Oh, is this Scorch Shot if you're f too far away? Wait, what's the Rain Blower's one that's a kill? Apocalypse? It just, like, makes a rainbow and, like, fire. I don't really remember seeing oh, that. I don't remember that being a kill. And the Scorch Shot had the Execution, which is an kill at point-blank range. Beyond that, it just shoots a single normal flare. That could kill you, but it probably won't. Yeah, the heavies is unique in that you can actually aim it up or down a little. Oh, I died. From what? Uh, it touched a mine. They're mines. Look out for that. They're like the volcanoes, but they kill you instantly. But they do a ton of damage instantly. Good to know that they can one-shot me, though. It means you need to be less reckless. Bones. My, my map over here. Oh god! Yeah. Oh god, he's, he's teleporting after me! Yeah, he's... He's really teleporting. Oh, he, he actually is teleporting. God. Yeah, no, he's really teleporting. I thought it might have just been lag, but no, he's, he has the teleporting ability. Yeah, no, he, like, was really into teleport. Now you can fish it. Nope. That's a lie. Can attack. Woo. No, a woo. I just woo. Don't a woo. I didn't. I just woo. The frog went frog. Oh, 
Or did he just think he was going to run off to it? Okay, you can attack the mines with a range attack, which will detonate them for a bit. Or you can run into them, but don't. Well, I don't have a ranged attack, so... You have a have grenade, the... right? Oh, yeah. I guess Is it not ranged? I guess that's true. I never really got a good look at it. You can also... Does your secondary loadout not have a ranged attack? Both loadouts have the grenades. I mean, does, isn't one of them like a gun or something? No. Oh. What's one's a sword that heals me, and one's a sword that... I would get a melee, a melee staff for my builds, but I feel that if I win to melee, I just would die more. Fake fishing hole. I hate it. How'd you make that? You're on that ledge, but then you were just on the area next. Ooh, nether portal. I found you! Ah! Pleated bonnet! Where do you see another portal? The, you're heading right oh. for it. Wanna poke it? Yeah. Whoa! Oh, what, are the, what is the purpose of these areas? You are running ahead of me. Oh, sorry, I got excited about something. Yeah, but it's gonna be how you get a died id. Uh, died. Oh, that's a wall. Ooh, cool guy. See, these are like some cool enemy designs, right? I like the manta ray looking guys. I like the guys. And the ladies, maybe. And whatever these are. Such old creatures probably don't conform to any sort of gender binary, after all. Slag sack. I mean, there's a lot of species in, on Earth that Ouch. have just two. Don't punch me! Why are you teleporting? You don't have teleporting ability. Yeah, you do. Alright. Full staff. Eight. Eight? That's how I heal. Thank you. It summons Robo? Yeah. Eight is Robo. Robo, Robo? Well, it's it's small Robo. Smobo? It's it's con robo. it's small but permanent robo. It's long robot. Box. Wow, that was a big chest that has a couple They're gold altars. piles in it. They're altars. Oh, okay. I like the little mouth dude down there. I want to play as him. Where? I want to see the mouth dude. Yeah, he's, he looks fun, doesn't he? He doesn't do anything. Yeah, but he's like he's too short. He couldn't reach us. There's a chest. With just a gun and a bit of gold. Oh well, no matter how bad the loot, the experience is good. And gambling can get us, get me loots where the dungeon fails. For about 4,000 gold apiece. Let's wear a bonnet as pants. This has some of the most balanced money of any game I've ever played. It, it's not, you always have enough to do something, but... It, you, you don't have enough to buy absolutely everything every time. Because a lot of games just end up at the point where money is kind of meaningless. Yeah. You just always... Well, yeah, I'm almost always out of money when we leave town. But you always get something with it, too. It always does something beneficial. Oh no, a dead venture. So yeah, I think it's good. Your money's always useful, but you always want more. I wonder how they hit that balance. And so many. I hate don't. to break it to you, but I think it has a lot to do with gotcha. <laughs> what? You're playing against the gambler, and I'm playing for enchantments, and they don't always work, so you just lose money sometimes. Yeah, but we always get some. I always get something out of it. There's a lot of times you've complained that it wasn't useful. Yeah, I got a lot of things that aren't good, but I usually get something that is. Unlike Gotcha. If we're Gotcha, would be spending dollars, not gold. Yeah, you, but you are. You're spending game dollars. You already purchased this game. Right. Gotcha is not like that. You don't buy the game. You buy It's all microtransactions. These are just regular transactions. My point still stands. This is mine. 
not just predominantly a free-to-play thing, or a premium currency thing. I don't think I could have done this if it were gotcha. I've been betrayed too many times. You do seem to have a gambling addiction. I, I might. I very well might. I can't deny it with confidence. No, no, I must. I love random number. Playing with random numbers. Ultimately, it doesn't seem to manifest as gambling. It's just... It's free. not at a casino. It doesn't... You, there, no money is exchanged. Unless you're playing gotcha. Right. And I resent gotcha deeply. Now. I've always been wary of it. But I think I actually legit hate gotcha. Are we on Doom right now? I mean, this is a pretty hell place. Yeah, it, it feels very evil Mars. I like the enemies more, though. Less red, more purple. You don't have a chainsaw. More tentacles. Always a good sign. Uh, no comment. Oh, uh, no, these don't have tentacles. You're right. Tentacles are a good look. I'm not wrong for saying this. It's more that you said tentacles are always good. Oh, uh, well, all, I suppose always is a bit of a stretch. They are the best at bad touch, after all, which is... The not name would suggest it's not good. Oh yeah, that's right, my inventory was empty when I started this time. Your inventory is full. That's a pleated bonnet? It's like a mask with horns on it! Yeah, that's how bonnets work. Oh. Oh, that was, that was right. disappointing. Ooh! Gun is a Level 50 gun. embers, though. That's nice. I'll have to put those in my pants later. Man, I got a lot of gun is this time. Are they funny? Steel. 